Thanks for tuning in here live today. They're getting ready to control people's bodies. And when I say that, I say that in not some science fiction movie format. This is real life, okay? This is not all Terminator and Skynet and Cyborgs, even though we are kind of living that reality. But I'm going to give you some heavy experimentational aspects of what's about to happen to the human body due to the living things that is about to be commenced. Now, I'm going to take you deep into this and nobody on YouTube is talking about it at all. But that's normal, right? Because I'm always laying out the detailed aspect of information to you here. So first, thanks for tuning in to JWTV show. We have more information each and every week. We're going to get into the situation we're dealing with and what's about to be put out. And if you've noticed, there's been some videos put out with people who's been taking the C, the C, you know what, the CV, who's been taking that. And supposedly now they have these metallic things they put up to their arm and then it sticks to their arm. And this, this is going to tie into a little bit of something else. They're talking about sleep cycles, wake cycles that they're going to be controlling. What's going on, everybody? Space Force scientists warns it's imperative the U.S. military experiment with human augmentation and AI to stay ahead of Russia and China. But let me expand on that, though. Let me take you even deeper into what is going to happen with the experiments because it's going to get real deep here and it's not just experiments that's going to be just military obviously it's experiments on a population already happening right now so let's dive deep into this already implantable this came out may 20 21 the 13th implantable living pharmacy living pharmacy could control body sleep and wake cycles Project receives DARPA contract worth up to 33 million over four and a half years. Obviously, 33. They love that number. They use it over and over again, symbolically. So, what what is going to happen with this situation here? Well, we're about to dive deep into it and show you and tell you what they're actually about to do. And it goes in to say, a Northwestern University led by a team of researchers has signed a cooperative agreement with DARPA to develop a wireless fully implantable device that will control the body's circadian clock having the time it takes to recover from disrupted sleep and wake cycles literally can just wake you up at any time it wants and it's communicating with you via the device and I told you this year people doing what they're doing all the different experiments they're going to be using this input and goes in to say in this artistic illustration a user with a uh, in-train implant and its accompanying external hub works in the field the user inputs a desired time shift so they got them waking up on a specific time shift just like that and so it goes in to say first phase of the highly interdisciplinary program will focus on developing the implant the second phase contingent on the first will validate the device if that milestone is met then researchers will test the device in human trials as part of the third phase the full funding corresponds 33 million over four and a half years nicknamed living pharmacy now we know what pharmacy and everything goes into and everything else but for goodness sakes man this is just all in your face it's just slap you in the face american pie like oh yeah the american pie was so great that now we're gonna be just sheeple on a domestic slave ship we're gonna just jump on there and we're gonna do whatever we're told the question is are you gonna let them that's the question so it goes in to say nickname the living pharmacy guess who's gonna get tested on and guess the population they won't probably talk about it but the device could be a powerful tool for military personnel well if you got somebody in the military and you, you know them, maybe you should share this out. Maybe you should share it to your son. Maybe you should share it to somebody in your family. Maybe they should see this and maybe we should have a talk and discussion about this. Because, wow, who frequently travel across multiple time zones, right? Military personnel who travel across multiple time zones and shift workers, including the first responders who facilitate between overnight and daytime shifts. So, again, internal networks of circadian clocks. The project is a part of advanced 
acclimation and protection tool for environmental readiness. Oh yeah, environmental readiness. Get an implant. Hey, yeah. Go get an implantable chip. Just it's for environmental readiness, you know. Do it for your country, boy. What? Show stuff out of here. Anyway, program DARPA's new program to help address the challenges of travel, including jet lag, fatigue, gastrointestinal illness, circ circadian clock research will be led by sleep experts if northwestern center sleep circadian biology synthetic biologists at rice university what do y'all think about this should they take one for the team and just go and do it or should they actually step back and look at what's going on it says cellular engineering efforts in northwestern in engineers will join researchers from rice and carnegie mellon university at black right black rock microsystem to develop bioelectro electronic components Compi combining synthetic biology and bioelectronics the team will engineer cells to produce the same peptides that the body makes to regulate sleep cycles precisely adjusting timing dose with bioelectric controls with engineered cells are exposed to light they will generate precisely dose peptide therapies the control system allows us to deliver peptide interest on demand so this is what they're doing in controlling wake cycles controlling how you get up Here's what Biden, Biden proposed could make the U.S. a digital dictatorship. And that's why we're talking about implantable chips in troops and not just troops. But like I said, just go look up the videos recently. And I'll, somebody need to put a link to a video down where they're showing on TikTok. They're putting metallic things up to their arms and then it's sticking to them. So, again, Remember, the nanotechnology moves you and then makes you do all this stuff and, and it can control your body, and your limbs. If you, you know, eventually go in down and do exactly what they want you to do. But a new proposed proposal by Biden administration to create a health focused federal agency after DARPA is not what it appears to be promoted uh, as a way to end cancer. This resuscitated health DARPA conceals a dangerous agenda. Remember, Biden is creating this new agency we talked about. And somebody said, hope you're doing good. Yeah, I'm definitely doing good. No doubt. Getting this information out to everybody here. And let's talk about it. Remember Biden? He got into it. And it says a long road to ARPA H. And getting into it, guess what they can do? This new agency said to be called ARPA. Because remember, it's a health agency. And Biden put the funding in or whatever to create it. Obviously, they probably already had this on the back scheme plan before Biden even got in. It says would be housed with the National Institutes of Health would raise the NIH budget to over 51 billion unlike other agencies ARPA or ARPA would dash H would differ in that the project it funds would not be peered would not be peer reviewed prior to approval instead handpicked program managers would make all funding decisions funding would also take the form of milestone driven payments instead of more traditional uh, grants and stuff like that so going down into it, the patients are waiting how Harper will change lives now. And so Harper is this new agency working with DARPA. It's just another branch of the military industrial complex, once again, seeking to do what it does to society. And, and we're going to go into it a little bit deeper. It says the Department of Justice pre-crime approach known as DEEP was activated just months before Trump left office. It was justified as a way to stop mass, you know what, shooting events before they happened. Soon after Biden inauguration, a new administration began using information from social media to make pre-crime arrests as part of approach toward combating DT, uh, giving the history of Silicon Valley companies collaborating with the government on matters of warrantless surveillance it appears that the aspect of safe home may already be covertly active under biden only waiting for formalization of arpa with the h to be legitimized as public policy the national security applications of robert wright harper are also illustrated by the man who was led scientific advisor for former darpa biological technologies office Jeffrey Ling. Not only is Ling the main scientific advisor of Harper, but the original proposal by Wright will have Ling both personally design Harper and lead it once it's established. Ling's work at DARPA can be summarized by BTO statement, which is work towards merging biology, engineering, computer sciences to harness the power of natural systems for national security. And again, all this is big data trying to merge with humans at the same time. And it's a biosurveillance program, which they call the biosurveillance project. 
sought to develop the necessary information technologies resulting prototype capability of detecting the covert release of biological pathogen technologies resulting in prototype capabilities now that's a lot of big words and crap and i'm, I'm trying to overwhelm me like oh man goodness let's just go some people can't like i said people can people can go and they can go and, and quickly walk into dying but they can't sit down and listen to something just to live but anyway silicon valley and the military and the wearable revolution and it goes in we're talking about how they want you to be monitored and how they want to watch you and how they just want to have all these different things launched upon us and this is exactly what the revolution is about so we wanted to put this out and this is what they're going to be using implanting stuff and it's already a lot of weird stuff happening right now as we speak now yesterday we put out a video talking about national security agencies warn of 5g network vulnerabilities adversary influence and uh we'll leave a link to that video now actually we'll have it on the right end after this is over but this is where we're at and if with the 5g and everything else activated they could use any type of attack on you at that point so we wanted to outline these big important things that's basically happening in the human biological aspects that we need to protect we need to remember how important it is to protect ourselves protect our health protect ourselves against these invasions because they said the future is about biohacking it's about the, the the government trying to get in your body and this is what we're dealing with right now and as we deal with it the knowledge we use is power and that power can help us throughout this situation because we will not be forsaken in these crazy crisis moments so thanks for tuning in everybody it's a lot of report please get it out and share it let everybody know what's going on subscribe click the bell because this is dire moments and if you get this information out it can awaken awaken the activeness in society and some consciousness at some percentage level will make change thanks for tuning in and this is a lot of report get it out there